Hey guys, it's Fisar here and in this video I have something exciting to share with you guys. So this is the DSTV app and with it you can watch live TV and stream your favorite shows all from the comfort of your home. With the Big Brother season upon us, this is one way you get to watch a ton of content conveniently from your smartphone and even on the go. This video will be a step-by-step -step process on how you can go about it and everything you should know before you get started and when you set it up. Without further ado, let's get to the video. Before we begin, I made a video about the DSTV app two years ago, which a lot of people watched. However, this video is longer and will have a lot more details and updates for you. First things first, what do you need to get started with watching hundreds of live TV channels and shows all on your smartphone. Just like I mentioned before, you need to have an existing DSTV subscription. This is what gets you the smart card number. This is a 10 or 11 digit number, which you will use during the sign up process. You will also need your phone since we're looking at how you can watch content on your device. Streaming will require that you have some data. And what I like about the app is that it lets you select different data levels, whether it's for streaming or for downloading content. So you can choose how much data you want to spend. To get started, you will need to download the app and it's pretty easy. Just click the link in the description of this video, in the description of my video and you will get to either download the DSTV app on the Apple App Store or the Google Play Store for free and then you'll sign up. This is where you get to register with your email, phone number and your password. Once you're done registering, you are immediately ushered into the app. Right here on the DSTV app, you can observe a couple of things which I'll go over now. You've got five categories, home, live TV, catch up, downloads, and more. I'll go over each one of them very quickly. The very first thing you see when you open up the app is the home page. This is where you get to see all of the recent live channels you've been watching and you can easily continue from there. As you can see, I've got E, BB Niger, Super Sports, The Olympic Channel, and Cartoon Network as my recent channels. Below that, you get to see your own custom list of movies or shows that you have selected or curated yourself. I've never finished watching Harry Potter in my lifetime, you know, and everything is here on the DSTV app, so I have that on my list to watch. You also get to see brand new TV shows, upcoming releases, and many, many other categories. Right next to home is where we've got the live TV. Here's where you get to watch all the hundreds of channels from DSTV. Again, like the homepage, you got your recently watched channels. You can also scroll to all channels. And I'm currently using DSTV Premium Plan, which shows a whole list of channels. You can watch from the multitudes of sports channels to super sports. You can get general entertainment with a list of channels showing new and classic movies. Um, you can see news and commerce. You can see music, documentary, children, lifestyle and culture, and lastly, religion. If you want to know which plans you have or how you can switch between plans to get access to even more channels, I highly recommend you download my DSTV app, which shows you all the details. This is where you will need the DSTV smart card number to set up all the subscription details. I also made a video about it, which you can watch with the link in the description or with the card up above. The plans range from as low as DSTV party plan. You've also got the Yanga plan, Confirm, Compact, Compact Plus, and last but not least, DSTV Premium, which is what I'm using. I'm sure these names are unique to Nigeria and other countries would have different plan names or similar plan names. Fun fact, with DSTV Premium, you get Showmax as well. So comment below which plan you are currently using for DSTV and I'll be selecting one winner to get another month's subscription. Also, if you're liking this video so far, do consider hitting that like button and hitting that subscribe button. Another thing we're doing is people who share this video between now and the end of this month, get DSTV premium subscription. So get liking, get sharing, get commenting, all of that cool stuff. Okay, back to the video. Still on the DSTV app, we've got catch up. This is the section where you get the featured TV shows and movies by DSTV, all in different genres and categories. For the categories above, you've got TV shows, you've got movies, you've got kids shows, you've got sports shows. Unlike live TV on the app, these are shows that you can stream at will and you can pause, play, resume them at your own leisure so you don't miss a thing. If you want to source to a higher level of preference, you can filter it out by shows, you can filter it out by, you know, the ones that can stream or just download. 
you can filter her by different categories you can filter her by the time it's added and the starting name of the show from a to z or z to a basically alphabetically before we talk about the rest of the app i want to talk about my streaming experience so far on the dstv app since I've been testing the app and using it pretty much all day, I found streaming quality to be great both for live TV shows, sports and movies as well as, you know, catch up content which is a more convenient form of streaming. Throughout my usage, I've only experienced errors with the live streaming session like three times where it just stopped due to my internet connection fluctuation but once I click a button it goes back to streaming. I also noticed two things while streaming. If you close the phone mistakenly or if you just close the phone, you will also close your live stream which you would have to click the TV show to start streaming all over again. I kind of have no problems with that. However, I also noticed that in order to maximize my screen, which is a wider screen than regular HD screen, the video has to be stretched instead of zoomed to fit into the screen. This would stretch faces and objects on the screen. And these aren't deal breakers at all, but they exist and I just wanted you to know, especially when you're watching on newer phones and not TVs. With regards to live streaming resolution quality, you can stream at the highest resolution which is 1080p or the lowest resolution which is 216p. You can simultaneously stream with your TV that's your normal DSTV plugged in plus two other devices. So what that means is that three people can watch stuff all at once. So that's your TV and two other people streaming. However, you can link a total of five devices including your TV. So that's your TV and four other devices that can be linked, your TV and two other devices that can stream at the same time. Just keep that in mind. Just like I mentioned, and now that you know that you can catch up, you know, you can watch new TV shows and movies at will, you can play, skip, and move ahead as you like. Um, you can also download these same movies and TV shows, although not all of them, they would fall under the download section of the app. You can choose what file size you would want when you want to download it as well, which is very intuitive. In the more section, you can change whose profile is selected to watch. You can check your notifications to see what shows you've got lined up or new show alerts. We've got the kids section where you get a colorful interface with quite a handful of kids shows. You also get access to the TV guide which has live TV shows and programming that's available in a timetable format for every channel every day on your subscription plan. You can see what the show's name is, when it will be aired. I like the feature where you can add a reminder to any upcoming show that you have in mind and it will notify you at least 5 minutes to 2 hours before it airs. You can also see the list of your selected movies and TV shows. And lastly, we get the settings of the app. In the settings of the app, you can manage the devices that are currently logged in. As you can see, a maximum of four devices can be registered separate from your normal decoder uh, with your TV. It's on here that I was able to set up my app's connection to my smart TV where I just downloaded the DSTV app on my TV. I connected my phone with a code and voila, I can stream live TV and everything I mentioned on the app with the TV without a decoder and I can also watch catch up content, watch movies, a lot of movies, continue where I left off on my phone on the TV. In the settings, I can also enable pin for kids content. I can choose to let my mobile data be able to stream, but if you can get access to Wi-Fi, you're pretty much covered. You can also time out your live stream so it stops after some time and you can set the default video resolution. The rest is pretty much self-explanatory. You have the frequently asked questions, live chat for support, and your device's information. That's pretty much it with the setup and everything you need to know about the DSTV app and how it works. Please let me know if you have any question or comments and I'll be there answering any question or comments that you have in the comment section below. Don't forget to hit that like button, don't forget to like this video and also share it. Remember, we're giving away one DSTV premium subscription and one DSTV subscriber also gets an additional one month subscription on your existing plan. So do subscribe to my channel and make sure you subscribe to DSTV and I'll see you guys in the very next video.